Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of our Lion Fight Zoom chats. I do have my outstanding co-host with me this week is Regan Gowing. She returns after a short layoff, got some beauty rest in, and, and she's ready to go once again at, at the sidekick position. And of course, Justin Kwan at the controls. And we are joined uh, by the destroyer himself, the mullet of Muay Thai, Warren Thompson. Look at that. That's yeah. sharp, man. I should have conditioned okay. it today. I was in the pool earlier, so it's a little <laughs> less <bad. laughs> So, Warren, uh, things changed for you in the last uh, few days. Uh, you moved from fighting in the North American Heavyweight Tournament uh, title fight final to now fighting Steve Walker for the North American Super Cruiserweight title. Um, we don't have to get into all the back and forth about all. Oh, how it all happened, but talk about the opportunity that that's ahead. Um, you know, you, you were the one who said right from the start that uh, if needed, I'd be willing to step in and fight Steve. We had to take you up on that. Uh, talk about what that opportunity means to you. Um, I mean, it means everything like uh, as a fighter. And uh, I mean, when big fights come, you want to fight. Uh, Steve is a human highlight reel. I mean, I have all the respect in the world for him. His character's good. I mean, he's a big jacked guy. He looks good on camera. He fights well in the ring. I mean, as a fighter, I want to fight guys like that. Um, you know, hands down, anytime I get the opportunity. So it could be one day, a week, a, a month, whatever. I get that opportunity. I'm going to take it. And that's even if it's cutting weight. Um, so as, as soon as I uh, felt that opportunity was there, um, I jumped on it. It's also his hometown. So he needs to be the main event on that card. I, as a professional fighter of 15 years, I know that. And uh, so it's given me an opportunity. It's given him an opportunity. And I think that's very important for the sport. Go ahead, Regan. Um, so mentioning that you had to cut weight, I'm just curious how much weight you're having to cut now, um, having to come down from heavyweight to cruiserweight. So I've fought kind of all around the weight classes as low as 178 as a young man, oh, middleweight, uh, light heavyweight, heavyweight. So I've done it all. I was a pretty lean uh, mid 230s. So I'm cutting about 20. I woke up at maybe 234 that Sunday I took the fight, uh, but I'm already waking up uh, low 220s. Um, so, um, you know, within a couple of days. So I just uh, cut my glycogen back, cut my carbs some up my my steady state cardio and it's it's peeling right off i'll do a water load drop the rest about 25 26 pounds wow that's amazing that's i have uh, a regan yeah that's basically <laughs> <laughs> a quarter of my body weight <laughs> that's impressive um well that's that's awesome kudos to you for taking that fight especially last minute um and i'm, I'm curious too because you been, you were training so so hard um, have you had to make any changes, um, given your opponent, given Steven, I know you said he is a human highlight reel. So anything yeah. that you're, you're, uh, uh, putting into your camp now. So, uh, you know, at heavyweight, my previous opponent, I was, uh, honestly working, staying, which is hard for me, but staying longer and being less aggressive. Um, and with Steven, honestly, he reminds me even he's better, you know, he's more athletic, but I fought a 81 inch reach Southpaw before in glory. And it was the same type thing. You got to bring, bring the pressure and bring the fight. And I'm better at that than running away. Uh, sometimes it gets you in trouble, but it makes exciting fights. So um, honestly, I was able to go back to what I like doing and that's bringing the fight. That's awesome. So we can expect even more aggression from you, Warren. Hell, that's always my goal. I mean, <laughs> yes, I'm, asleep, I'm trying to come win. So uh, yeah, I was yeah, that, that, that will be my goal. Nice. Well, just even thinking back to your last fight, like you were pretty aggressive in that one too. So. Right. That's what Cody yeah. said. I seen him in the airport the next day and I was like, we were talking. He's like, man, I can get off the commode this morning. My leg hurts. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> I was, I was trying to get started and I sometimes start slow. He's like, well, you didn't do that against me. <laughs> so you go, come out and you start fast. You know, I come from a kickboxing background a good bit and I mixed in MMA and tie in that, but man, they're on you. It's three rounds. You got to start fast and act like you want to be there. They won't bring you back. So, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Does it does the aggression get you into trouble at times too, Warren? And and then uh, how do you get out of that trouble if you've got the time to do so? Right. Yes, and and, and it does. Um, you a lot of times in a, a three round or whatever, you don't have a lot of time, so you're being aggressive. And uh, let's you know, I, Robert Thomas from Canada, good mm -hmm. uh, good um you know uh, ex you know uh, scenario or whatever. I was winning that whole 
seconds left. He hit me with an uppercut and a two. Out. Had I backed away from him, I'd have won on all three judges' scorecards all three rounds. I, I got hit, and it's in my nature. I said, ah, oh, let's fight, you know, and it, I got put down. So, uh, yes, it does get me in trouble, but it's just in my nature. I get popped. I want to go. Um, so I, I sometimes struggle with that. Uh, I need to fight a little smarter sometimes. Okay. What, uh, what, what do you do as far as, uh, as far as what Steve can do? How, how do you just go in and say, this is what I do. And I don't care what my opponent does. I, I only game plan for myself, or do you have to be cognizant and aware of the guy, the guy's very elusive and very tricky and does unorth mm -hmm. unorthodox things. So some of both, I think as a fighter, if you're thinking acting, you get yourself into trouble and get to watching and a guy that has spacing and does a lot of setups. You'll see him. He taps his foot, spins, does a lot of hip fakes. You start watching that. He's going to hit you more. Um, so I do what I do, but obviously as a fighter, you know, you're trying to be smart and watch film. You see certain tendencies, but if you, you just play around and watch for those uh, if he's a good fighter, um, he's going to, he, he'll play that mind game constantly and, and faint and take advantage of me watching and thinking too much. So um, I know that's kind of a elusive answer there, but no, it, to the best of my ability, I'm going to do what I can do. Uh, speaking of what you do, uh, you, you do wear the, the wonderful caps. You have a great assortment, great collection <laughs> of caps. You do sport unquestionably the best mullet in, in all of <laughs> professional sports, to be quite honest. Uh, you have the innate ability to tuck your jeans into your cowboy boots. Uh, you <laughs> cut off also, flannels, fanny packs. Fanny, well, that's where I'm going with this. You have <laughs> probably about the, I don't know, maybe the last second or third last fanny pack in existence. <laughs> uh, and I know Regan wanted to know A, where you got it, and B, she's a little bit concerned because I think Steve Walker wants it. Oh man, Lordy. Um, Regan, go ahead. I mean, you, you need to know, you need to ask, you need to ask more about the fanny pack versus title belt. <laughs> What's more important, <laughs> the fanny pack or the title belt or the mullet? Oh man. I, I ain't cutting my mullet for nobody. First. <laughs> <laughs> Number two. Um, I, I mean, I keep my wallet, my fanny pack. So I don't know if it, <laughs> that's pretty important, but obvious guys, I mean, obviously that title belt, <laughs> if he wants to trade, I give him the damn fanny pack, I guess, <laughs> uh, you know, but I've got a spare anyway, so it's fine. Uh, <laughs> Always but when, when we talked no. to Steve, he said that, you know, I mean, if it's, if you want to go belt for belt, so to speak, <laughs> uh, he could, he would be willing to do it. Well, I mean, well, he is committed. He is committed to the title fight. So he, his belt's on the line. Are you willing to put yours on the line? I'm willing, Steve Walker, <laughs> my lime green fanny pack, which is my favorite up against that belt of yours. So it's very important <laughs> to me. Um, but yeah, I'll do that. He messaged me, but funny enough, Tuesday, I believe. And, uh, he was patting it on his belly. He said, I heard you're coming after my fanny pack and you can't have it, Warren. <laughs> Uh, I told him I'm coming to get it any darn way. <laughs> well, I, I, I don't, I don't know. Regan, do you want to, do you want to tackle the next question? If they, I don't even know if you can follow up. I'm the, speechless. The I'm, speechless. Fanny pack <laughs> I'm really curious as to, uh, I mean, again, speechless, so you can't follow that up, but um, I'm curious because I, and I, I encourage everyone who hasn't go to uh, Warren Thompson's Instagram because you'll see a stark difference from when he used to be a pretty boy uh, to <laughs> when he grew out his mullet. And I'm wondering when that transition happened because it happened so quickly. Yeah, well, my wife isn't <laughs> happy about it either. Um, <laughs> so I don't know. When I was in glory kickboxing, I fought Mike Lemaire and I beat Lemaire and I said, damn, I like his hair. And so <laughs> after that, I did hair like him for a while. And uh, I got out of kickboxing and uh, and it was like, I started making a lot of knives. I'd retired for the time being. I started making knives, just lifting weights. I started growing my hair because I didn't care. Didn't shave, didn't grow my hair. Or I grew my hair, didn't shave, whatever. And then here I come back and I just had a mullet. So it worked for me. Now the, I'm like a trendsetter. I've had a mullet two years. Now the kids got mullets. I went to Panama City and everybody's like cat calling me driving by. My wife goes, man, I feel like it's high school for like a girl, but they're yelling at you because of your hair. <laughs> it was hilarious. <laughs> I'm a little jealous. I kind of wish I could rock a mullet like that, but 
I don't have the face for it. <laughs> Regan can pull off the Canadian. Transition anyhow. Regan can pull off the Canadian tuxedo though, and, and and I think that's your next step, Warren. I don't know if you know it, but that would be the jeans with a jean jacket. That so, uh, you know what, and that is a good style in the winter, like um, uh, you know. But you're right. In the early '90s and stuff, I remember my daddy having it. You know, the uh, jean jacket with the jeans. Right. That'd be right on par. Retro. That's going to be your, uh, that's going to be your walkout uh, 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 costume. You remember Shoney Carter? They used to take yep. him like half an hour to get to the ring because he'd come out in a full suit and well, everything. I think that, that, you know, if you win the belt, I think the, 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 the jean tuxedo, the denim tuxedo is next. I got uh, a surprise for my walkout shirts. Um, this time I got flannel, cut off flannels. Uh, with my logo printed on the back. So I got two colors. I haven't decided which one to wear yet, but we're heading that direction anyway. So your mind's, mind's in the right direction. Downtown Boston, that's a good look. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I support it. That sounds awesome. <laughs> yeah, you got to be yourself. You know, you got to be yourself. Uh, Who else then, wants to be? Yeah. No, that's nobody right. else and, wants to be. So uh, Many know. people want to look like my ugly self. So <laughs> got to roll with it. <laughs> Well, hey, man, thank you so much for doing this. First of all, thank you from, from all the fans at Lion Fight for stepping up to fight Steve Walker. Uh, of course, we, we know that, you know, like you said, it's in, the fight's in Steve's hometown. We had to make something happen to make sure that that main event stayed. And I know Steve and his team appreciated you doing it. Uh, they're, they're, they're looking forward to the, uh, the, the honor of, of fighting you. And I know you, you believe it's an honor to fight him as well for his belt. So I think we all uh, appreciate what you're doing. And I think we're all very excited to see what's going to come. Lion Fight 69, Friday, August the 27th, live worldwide on UFC Fight Pass from the House of Blues in Boston. Warren Thompson against Steve Walker for the North American Super Cruiserweight title. Warren, again, we're a few hours away from that fight. Thank you so much for doing this. We really appreciate it. And Regan, thank you for, for jumping in. We appreciate your always uh, eclectic interviewing <laughs> skills. <laughs> no problem, man. Thanks for having me. Thanks, appreciate everybody. It. We'll see you soon.